If strength and speed don't separate players like Mitch Marner from players on the fourth line or in the AHL, what does? Well, Mitch Marner is fast and he is strong. It isn't the separator. It's not the thing that makes him better. If that's the case, then what is? Imagine you were invited to a dance, like a dance where you actually had to know the dance steps and keep up with everyone else. What would happen if you didn't know the dance steps? Well, you'd just be there trying to pay attention to what other people are doing, but because you were unfamiliar with the dance steps, you would barely be able to keep up. But what if you went to the dance and no one even told you there was dance steps? Like what if everyone else was out there on the dance floor doing their thing and you were just wiggling around out there by yourself? Well, that would be embarrassing and you probably wouldn't be invited back, would you? Well, that's what it's like for most hockey players these days. You've got guys like Marner out there who know the dance steps, and because of it, he has so many movement options. He can tend into to move laterally, he can stutter to create deception, he can anchor to create space for himself, and he can do all of this at top speed. Most players just aren't aware of these dance steps, so they're at the dance just wiggling around and won't be invited back. Some players like Matthews, McKinnon, McDavid, and definitely Marner know the dance steps perfectly, and they're flying around out there. And yet, there is one group of players, students of the game, who are learning the dance steps. We call these dance steps mechanics, and these mechanics unlock all of your movement options on the ice. And if you'd like to learn what those are, I've prepared a free training to show them to you. Click the link, and I'll show you how.